Hi everybody, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to hook up the FA series workstations, the FA08 and FA06 to Logic Pro. So this is a very easy process. Uh, let's get started now. So first off, I am going to open my Logic and we're gonna choose an empty project. So choose empty project, there we go. Now I'm gonna use an external MIDI external MIDI because we're going to be supplying the MIDI uh, from the FA series workstation and I'm using an FA08 in my example here. Uh, let's go ahead and do one channel. Uh, let's go ahead. Actually, I'm, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do, let's do four since we have it all set. So I'm going to create. Great. We have all four. Now I'm going to go into each one of these and I'm going to make sure they're lined up with the correct channel here. I'm going to put channel, MIDI channels one, two, three, and 10, which is typically drums. Uh, so let's do this now. I'm doing number one right here. And you see we have the pull down menu. And that is channel one, so that's good. This one should be channel two, channel three. And this one, we're gonna change it to channel 10. So that's good. I almost forgot. Let's go ahead and go to Logic's preferences and make sure that I am set in the audio. No big thing. And right now we see the output device is built-in output. We're gonna change that to the FA. And the input device also to the FA. That's good. Let's just take a quick peek at the MIDI. Everything should already be set up. All right, because we're going to FA. So the FA, just so you remember, is an audio MIDI interface uh, just with USB. So one cable you can plug into your laptop and begin recording. So this is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check our settings once again. So I'm checking right now. Now I have my FA08 set up. I put the pads, pad utility, pad mode, and I did a part select, number two. So I can change whatever parts I want just by touching the pads. So if we go to part one and make sure it corresponds here on the computer, we have a piano, MIDI channel two. Here's part two on the FA. This should be a bass. We have a signal, that's great, part three should be an electric piano. And part number 10 should be drums. So as you can see, we have everything set. So let's get started recording. So I'm gonna come into Logic here and I'm gonna change my setting to 100. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of drums. Test my drums. And I have it armed over here. Let's go ahead and turn on the metronome and press record. Should have one measure counting if I have it set up correctly. Let's check it out. Great, let's play back. Put it back over here. So now let's go ahead and do another part real fast. I'm gonna go to bass and get that set right here. Everybody's ready. And now let's record one measure counting. Good, we have it set there. So that's great. Now let's go ahead and record the electric piano part on MIDI channel three. Now we have everything set. Let's record one measure counting. Great. And now let's go ahead and expand everything out. That's one of the cool things about this software. There we go. And now we're pretty much ready to go. So as you see, it was super easy to set up the FA series workstation inside Logic. Remember, we only set up four channels, but we have 16 channels available to us. So you guys try this at the house. I hope you have a great time doing it, and we'll talk to you later. Take care.